All right, looks like we're finally live. It took a little while to go live there. Uh, <clears throat> took a couple tries. Uh, but uh, welcome, everybody. I just stepped off the treadmill, so I am a little breath breathy. <clears throat> and I'm very thirsty because I forgot to take my water with me when I got on the treadmill. And about a half hour in, I got very thirsty. So I'm going to pour my drink here real quick, and then we'll get started with the chat. And as usual, I am drinking Diet Dr. Pepper strawberry and cream with zero sugar, not Diet Dr. Pepper. But welcome everybody to another episode of Yankee is America Guns and Freedom Podcast. If you've never been here before, uh, this is just a place uh, to come every day and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. You know, if talk to me, you can talk amongst yourselves over there in the live chat if you prefer. But if you do want to talk to me, that's what I'm here for. So you can ask me questions, suggest topics, call me out if you think I'm wrong about something. Uh, <clears throat> all you got to do is if you want to get my attention is put at the Yankee Marshall, like it says right here, in front of your question or your comment over in the live chat, and, and that will help me see it. Can't promise I'll see it or get to it because sometimes we run out of time before we run out of questions. Other times I just miss one or two. Uh, do not repeat your questions, though. If I don't see it, don't see it. Don't repeat them because repeating questions really screws me up as to where I'm at in the chat. So don't do that. But uh, 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 I will try to get to all of them. Uh, if you've got a question or a comment you don't want to wait to see if I get to, or you want to just jump to the front of the line, or you just want to support the Pets and Bets programs, you can always do a Super Chat. Super Chats get priority. Uh, doesn't matter if they're $2 or $20. I treat them all the same. The only time the amount matters is if you want to get an entry in the friend drawing, it needs to be uh, $4.99 or more, and you'll get one entry for every time you do that. Uh, this month's friend actually chose what they wanted the other day. I forget what. Uh, I wrote it down, but I haven't got it for him yet. Uh, I've been procrastinating, but I need to get it done. <clears throat> I did send off the TYM Triple P emails, but that's a different thing. Let's get back to where we were here. Uh, another time the amount matters on the Super Chats is if you want an entry into the hat drawing at the end of the video, uh, we do a drawing at the end where you can get a hat or a t-shirt or a small flag. Uh, it's your choice. And I draw from people who've done Super Chats, you know, donated to the Pets and Vets program during the chat. You get one entry for a $2 chat, uh, three entries for a $5 chat, six entries for a $10 chat, and 15, 15 entries for a $20 chat. So, uh Yeah, that's still better than doing. I was going to say, was that is that more than doing two ten dollar chats? It is, and it's more than doing four or five dollar chats. So yes, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, does that make sense to do a twenty? Because would you get more? No, but the way we did it, I guess I did it right the first time. I knew what I was doing. What do you know? Surprise, surprise. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, those are the only times the amounts matter. Uh, let's see. I think we got a couple super chats. I need to answer real quick. Mikey D says, John Heasley said, get this wagon rolling. Well, why didn't he say that himself? Why are you John Heasley's spokesperson? Uh, also five, four, five by three, nine said Punva P and B one pterosaur, one velociraptor that he has, uh, adopted and I am raising and he is paying his child support payments on. Uh, the other program we run, in case you're interested, is TYM Triple P, which I mentioned a minute ago. I've sent out the emails to all the people that are this month's recipients. If you want to be in the running for next month, go over to TYMPPistolProject.com and sign up. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to sign up. In fact, uh, well, it wouldn't be stupid if it did, since it's for people who need financial assistance with a firearm. Uh, if you're not someone who needs to sign up, uh, please support the program. Don't just give it lip service and say, oh, it's a great program. I'm glad it's there. I support it fully. Well, support it, do it, support it then. Become a subscribe star starlet. Go over and become a supporter on subscribe star or buy merch. Uh, I added a new twist on a design today. Uh, you saw it at the beginning. Let me see if I can get it brought up here. Come on, share it. Here we go. 
Uh, it's Pika Fu. Some people are like Pika Fu. Uh, well, you can say it Pika Fu, but it's actually Pika Fu. Uh, some people won't get it. It's you got to think about it for a second. But it's Pika Pew. Pika Pew, as in P E W, and he's doing the old uh, middle finger at y'all there. At least I assume that's his middle finger. I'm not sure how many fingers he's got. But in that case, uh, it's his middle finger. So that is over there now. It's just on a hat for right now. If anybody wants it on a shirt or anything, I'll put it on there. Uh, but right, I'll probably do that tomorrow. But right now, it's just on a hat. So <clears throat> uh, Dale Rickety says, I always have a buy list. The darn spore is high on the list. I got net and else report. Yeah, it's probably at the top of my list. Uh, of, you know, wish I could guns, but probably won't, probably can't guns. Uh, when it comes time, there might be some guns in here that are sacrificed uh, to buy that gun. We will see. Because I can't just buy it outright. That's too much money. I'd have to trade in some stuff. I got some stuff I can trade in. Got some stuff I can sell. Uh some of it I'd hate to sell, but some of it I wouldn't mind. Like, I got some polymer guns I could sell, but <clears throat> I don't want to, but I would have to if I was going to get it. it depends, that'll show me how bad I want it. Is Do I want it bad enough to sell probably three other guns to get it? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, all right, that's it for the Super Chats. Let's get on. I was talking about TYM Triple P. If you want to go over and support TYM Triple P, become a subscribe star or buy merchandise. Uh, and that's my cue to read if anybody bought merchandise today so we can say thank you. Let's see. Did we get any orders today? There's none there from today. Let's see. Uh, there's none over here for today. I, wait, wait. I thought we got one for today earlier. Yes, okay, there they are. Uh, Brandon Llewellyn, Llewellyn, Sue Ellen, uh, got a Prep a Pig t shirt. And James Addison, I don't, isn't there, isn't that a president? I don't think it's the same one. Uh, they got a Pew Pew t shirt. Wait, what did the other guy get? It was also something that I haven't seen selling lately. Oh, Pep, Pep, Prep a Pig. <clears throat> so those are the only orders we got today. Uh, we could desperately use some more, but you know, you take what you can get, I guess. Let me uh, plug this back in because I use this phone on the treadmill. I got to get it recharging. Um, I guess that is all the. Or well, I got to. Well, we did. We lost two more PayPal people today. Didn't get any new ones. We're down pretty low on PayPal. Uh, and we, we didn't lose any more subscribe star. Let's we're down to 103, which I think where we were at yesterday. So we did the drawing and then people started dropping out, but I got to get another drawing started. It's pretty bad that I got to keep giving stuff away to keep people interested in supporting the programs that they say they support. Uh, not you people. I'm not talking to you people in here. You people do your share pretty much, but other people are lazy as fuck and cheap as fuck. They kiss your ass. It's like back when I used to be an artist. Well, I guess I still am an artist, but I used to do a lot more art, like painting and sculpting. And I used to do gallery shows and people would come up and say, oh my God, I love your stuff. I just love the colors. I love the form. I love blah, blah, blah. It's just amazing. And I'm like, well, then buy it. I was like, because your uh, ass kissing and slathering with praise doesn't pay my fucking rent. If you really like it, buy it. That's how you tell if someone really likes your stuff or not. They can tell you how wonderful your stuff is all the time. But when it comes time to, are you willing to spend money to support it or buy it? That usually changes things. Uh, that's one of the number one rules of art and uh, contract work, whatever. Someone will say, oh my God, you do really good work. I love the way you frame those windows and stuff. That's some good craftsmanship. Well, good. You want me to do, work, do your house? Oh God, no. Well, then you don't like it that much. Uh, Moo Butt said pets. This is all he says, pets. I guess he's got something against the pets. Uh, but at least if you're going to be for one, I would say pets. Because 
vets are still people and most of them suck. Most vets suck. Most soldiers suck. I hate to break it to people. People who want to worship the military and think that veterans are just by default amazing people. No, a, a large percentage of them suck, just like everybody else. Uh, just go to your average apartment complex or trailer park and figure out how many people there suck. And then look at the military. And it's a little more than that percentage wise. So some of them suck. I, I think we should honor our obligations to them and they should be treated with respect and people should respect the job they did, but to try to pretend they're the, all the best and the brightest or all good people. Yeah. It just doesn't add up with reality. Um, I thought my video I did today would piss people off, but right now it doesn't seem to have because it doesn't seem like anybody's watching it. Uh, and that's one of the things that needs to happen for someone to get pissed off at your video. They have to actually watch it, I think. And that is not getting any views. But, and, and see, now that's the kind of video that used to have would have skyrocketed. Uh, a controversial subject like that on 2A would have went to people would have seen it. They would have watched it. <clears throat> they would have said nasty things to me. Nowadays, YouTube doesn't promote them, th that kind of stuff at all. If you're covering anything of any importance, they don't, and it doesn't go with what their opinion is. They aren't going to promote it. Plus my channel auto band, so it doesn't get recommended to anyone. So used to be that video would have had at least 3000 views in the first hour, minimum 3000 in the first hour. It's been up for an hour now and it's got, I think 700 views. Let's see. Hold on. I got to get my, I got to get my thing going here. Hold up. What is this doing? This is not. How do I get off this shit? There we go. It's playing music and it won't stop. There it goes. Uh, let's see. How many is it to? I uh, hit a thousand. Well, it's been up an hour and 15 minutes and it's hitting 1,100. So probably hit like 800 or something in the first hour. <clears throat> that would have been a 3,000, if not 5,000 view video any day of the week back in the day when I wasn't shadow banned. <clears throat> uh, and you, and it's not like it's like, oh, when did this gradually stop being a thing? No, you can look back through my analytics. Like if you look at lifetime analytics, you can see the day they shadow banned me. It's like everything's doing this. <laughs> Uh, just toop in a day drops like 50%. And then like a week later drops like another 50% of that. <clears throat> so uh, it was very, it's very easy to pinpoint the very day they made the decision that I wasn't something that they wanted on their channel. Uh, let's see here. Uh, light blue oyster cult said, Punva, what age of person do you think you could defeat that number of the fittest of them on earth in hand to hand combat? I.e. The 20 fittest 20 year olds on earth or the 87 fittest 87 year olds. Well, I think I could beat the two fittest hundred year olds. Pretty sure of that unless they got a stick. Uh, do they have pointy sticks or clubs? Uh, and I could beat probably 50 of the toughest one year olds in the world. I probably would just wade through, just kick shit out of them. Uh, I don't think they would be able to get organized enough to bring me down. So uh, I don't think I would have to worry about it. So I think I could do that pretty easy. In fact, I'll fight some babies right now. If you don't think I'll fight babies, I ain't afraid of fighting babies. I will fight some babies. Uh, what did you paint that on? Dale Rickety's been trying out his art skills. I guess this is what he painted. It's like a planet or something with a comet going by it. He's using those. Uh, I've seen those guys do that with the spray paint and stuff. And I'm like, wow, I wish I'd have thought of that when I was a kid. Because that would have been, I had a, access to spray paint all the time and a lot of free time. I could have done some pretty cool stuff. But uh, I didn't think about it. But dude, that looks pretty cool. I don't know what it's on, what he put it on. Uh, did he put that on a bowling ball? What is that on? I don't know. I don't know if Dale Rickety bowls, but I'd be surprised if he didn't at one point in his life. I mean, at his age, he's done everything at least once, I'm sure. Well, maybe not. Well, okay. If he ever went to Bible camp, then he's probably done everything. But 
Uh, light blue oyster cult says only adults. You think you could take a hundred hundred year olds? No, good lord, no. They'd take you like zombies. It'd be like a wave. You'd just get taken out. They come stumbling at you, and especially not if they had their dentures in. I'm not because they bite. They're biters. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. I'll take two of them, maybe three. Uh, but I ain't doing no hundred of them. Um, where were we here? Did I get everything done? I think I got everything announced. Let's get over here to the regular chat, see if there's any questions coming in. Good evening, ye old fart. Et. Um, did my shirt go through when you reordered it? I don't know yet. It just, it says pending. Sometimes they do that for three or four days. But if it does, if you don't get a shipping thing soon, we'll uh, switch it to a different provider. And get it sent. Um, does steak belong on pizza? The reason I'm, I'm asking is Pizza Hut is putting steak on pizza. Well, I mean, it's beef. We put ground beef on pizza. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with, with beef on pizza, no more so than pork, but I prefer pork on pizza. Uh, you know, I like pepperoni. My, favorites, my favorite on pizza is pepperoni, sausage, anchovies, mushrooms, and extra cheese. That's my favorite pizza. Um, it's too late to apologize. I got a song stuck in my head. I was listening to One Republic. And then I was listening to One Republic. And then I was on a playlist thing. And next it played, after it played Apologize from One Republic, it played uh, It's Too Late to Apologize. And uh, that one's catchy. Uh, he's shy, I guess, LOL. Said I'd get him in trouble, LOL. Oh, okay. Hi, the Yankee Marshal. Next time you show a gun, let it be your Smith & Wesson 629 PC 44 Magnum instead of your Glock. That was funny last night. It was not funny. I had to put that video on private. I need every view I can get. I couldn't get any more from it because I had to put it on private because someone tricked me into picking up a gun. You tricked me. There's a video out about these. It's a really old man and a really old woman. And they're doing like magic tricks. And this is like back in the early days of YouTube or something. And they're doing magic tricks because they have a camcorder. And she goes, oh, you tricked me. And I, we, we quote that a lot in my house. Um, I'm hopefully not going to show a gun. So let's see. Do we got any questions coming in? Are you still mad at me? I'm sorry. I didn't realize you could get in trouble. Or you didn't. Uh, I believe you. Uh, what's for dinner? I'm having homemade hot wings with a Dr. Pepper cream, doc, with Dr. Pepper cream soda. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the cream soda from Dr. Pepper, which is odd considering how much I like the strawberries and cream. Uh, but, uh, and I love cream soda, but. The Dr. Pepper is just a little overwhelming in it. And I don't like Dr. Pepper, but I like Dr. Pepper strawberry and cream a lot. But what we're having for dinner tonight is I'm making pizza subs. I've got a pack of sausage, you know, like that ground sausage, because my son picked up ground sausage every day when I told him to pick up sausage, and I'm like, no, link sausage. When have I ever made you ground sausage? I make you link sausage, because the ground sausage is a pain in the ass. It's like hamburgers. You got to make the patties. I don't make the patties. Uh, <clears throat> so what I use the ground sausage for is I cook that and I make pizzas out of it. So we're going to make little uh, pizza sub sandwiches, you know, with the big roll buns that you make pizza sub on. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Mike D says because a paw needs a hand uh, 105 105 year olds or 106 106 year olds no not taking on any there's no number that I would take on that's an adult I wouldn't take 18 18 year olds 19 19 year olds uh, 200 200 year olds because if they're actually still alive at 200 years old well they're fucking survivors I ain't fighting those people so no, it ain't happening. 
The whole premise is flawed because it's not doable. Uh, I bought a t-shirt and I didn't hear you mention me on a chat. I'm heartbroken. Well, if you probably weren't here then, because I read them every night. I read every night. I read the names of people who bought stuff that day. Today was just two people, James Addison and Brandon Llewellyn or Sue Ellen or whatever that is. I'm not real sure. <clears throat> oh, and I did last night. I told people we did put up the uh, save the 40s hats. So those are over there now. And now we have that. What else did I put up? Oh, I did the uh, King Cobra. I did that as a round hat patch. And I added the, uh, what do you call it today? The, uh, Pika F-U. Pika fuck you. Oh, foot itches. <clears throat> oh, had something in my croc. And yes, I do wear my Crocs on the, because when I do the treadmill now, I'm just doing a fast walk because my hip. Uh, so... I, I just wear my Crocs and they, they're fine. They're comfy for working in. Boy, I got so many scars on my feet now. That's probably getting old. You end up with a lot of scars and marks on your feet. And I got the blue veins in the side of my feet. That's mostly from the military. I like to, they like to fucking walk everywhere, which I did for many years too. I walked everywhere, but um, let's see. Let's get back over where we were here. Been enjoying the refinish videos. Well, the one today I re had to repost one because I did a video, you know, of my handgun collection and it was the, uh, uh, uh my Desert Eagle. And I was like, I, I did a video on refinishing this. I'll link it. And then I went to link it and it wasn't there. So I'm like, where the fuck did it go? I think I might've, I don't know if, I don't think I deleted it, but I, I might've back when they were getting on us about videos that do stuff like that. I went through and made a lot of stuff private and deleted some stuff. But uh, I'm like, fuck it, I'm putting it back. I'm already shadow banned. What are they going to finally do? Finally kick my channel off, which is this, I'm pretty sure is the next step anyway. So uh, uh, I had to repost it. Luckily, I have every video I've ever made on my hard drive over here. Uh, I got uh, eight and a half terabytes of videos on that hard drive there, which is pretty much every video I've ever done except for uh, a couple that are on a different hard drive. What is in, I got a splinter in my foot. Ouch. There it's out. Uh, <clears throat> uh, problem of walking barefoot everywhere or with Crocs on you, you get splinters a lot. Uh, hey, Yankee, how does paid time off work and how can you have it roll over? Work for a better company? Uh, need to make a decision, new redesigned FN high power or SIG P210 carry customs. Oh, uh, the P, the SIG P210 carry custom with the engraved slide. I mean, uh, the new high powers are cool, but the old high power, I think is just better. Uh, I mean, I liked when I, and when I saw them in person at SHOT Show, I was very excited about the new, high power, the high power 2.0 or whatever it is, or modern day high power or whatever they call it. Uh, I wasn't as impressed with them in person. They came, they seemed a little clunky in person. So I was just like, I like the, the clones better of the regular high powers. Uh, I would Joe. Oh, I meant to bring, I meant to wear that hat today. <laughs> Somebody sent me some hats from a state that don't exist. Uh, I showed them to. I always open the box from the bottom. Uh, that way, it, if you open it from the bottom, well, then you see the snake's ass when you look in there and you know, aha, I'm not opening this box. <clears throat> but uh, I got that yesterday, actually. I meant to wear one of the hats. I forgot all about it. Um, Iowa Joe said, for the wear possum, pole that. Uh, oh, and in, in the box was a note with some serial killer scribblings on it oh my god uh made me very very nervous uh but uh thanks for the hats i got some new free hats that's my favorite hat when people say what's your favorite hat I'm like free ones free hats are always my favorite uh pole dance is fun how many rare possums would you fight and think you could win against well are they possum sized or are they person sized because i don't really believe in rare possums 
So I guess I could fight an infinite number of imaginary creatures. Uh, but if they're real, like if they're human size, I ain't fighting one of them. I'm going to run away. Uh, and if they're little, well, I ain't going to fight more than like two or three of them. <clears throat> because they can be pretty ferocious, especially if they're going to be, if they're wear possums, I'm going to assume they're out for blood. Uh, so not like at regular possums, which are kind and sweet little animals, unless you piss them off. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to be dangerous and I ain't fucking with that. If I had any less, I would be Dale Rickety. That's, there's only one Dale Rickety. You're not Dale Rickety. Uh, we got a payment to TYM Triple P from John Mandrick. He didn't buy a thing. He just donated $20. <clears throat> That way I get to keep all of it. He spent about the same as he, a little less than he would if he bought a shirt. And I get to keep all of it. So, well, I don't get to, but it gets to go to TYMP Pistol Project. Wait, did he put TYMP Pistol Project on there or did he put, uh, he put TYMP, so. Because there's one way that I forget how it is. I don't know how I can't even find it, how I set it up. Sometimes when people donate, it says pets and vets. So I'm not sure how I ever set that up, but I can't find it to fix it or anything. So I just leave it. Uh, <clears throat> do you prefer sights with blacked out rear sights or prefer three dots? <clears throat> well, I prefer a three dot sight, but the front sight's got to be the more visible sight. Like I like the little tritium sights where the back sights are just tritium dots. And the front sight has like a big orange or a big green circle around it. I like that because your main goal is to get that front sight acquired. But I do like having a three dot sight because at night, well, it's really hard to get that front sight acquired if you can't line it up with the back sight. Not that I think I'm going to be out in pitch black shooting at people or anything, but you know, you got to be prepared. <clears throat> if it's really dark and I'm afraid of somebody, I'm just going to hide and stay still. If it's so dark, I can't see them or even my gun. I'm just going to hide under something until they go away. <clears throat> if they don't go away, well, then I'll shoot them if I have to. But I'd prefer just to hide. A lot of paperwork involved in shooting someone. I don't want to do that. Plus, then you got to feel bad if you shot somebody and they didn't deserve it. That's a bad thing. And in the dark, you might. So I don't want to shoot somebody that doesn't deserve it. I've shot people that deserve it, but I don't want to shoot people that don't do it. And I, I, actually, they didn't really deserve it, but they were in a situation where they deserved it. No one really deserves it, or very few people actually deserve it. Like if you're uh, in the military and you come into conflict with, you know, local farmers that have been coerced into defending cocaine fields, did they really deserve to die or was it just, you know, something you had to do? Self-preservation. Uh, have you noticed that a lot of people wear their religion on their sleeves, always talking about praying Jesus, etc.? Yeah, I call those people uh weak because I always found that it's the weakest people that have actually the least dedication to their religion that need to announce it the most. Uh, most people, if they live a good life, you can tell, hey, they're a moral person and they might be religious. Uh, it's the people that you would never know they were religious unless they told you that seemed to like to tell you the most. It's like my dad posts religious shit online all the time. The man ain't never gone to church in his life. When I was a kid, he talked shit about religion all the time. He was never a religious person, but now that he's on, you know, far in far uh, embedded in the right wing, he's had to become religious or at least pretend to be online. So he fits in. Uh, Pigar, favorite red dot ready revolver. Well, there's only one. I only know of one series of red dot ready revolvers. And that's the Taurus. So I'm going to say the Taurus. The 605. That would probably be my favorite. Because <laughs> it's the only one I know of that's red dot ready. I haven't seen anybody else catch up with Taurus on that uh, uh, thing yet, on that trend. Uh <clears throat> the religion thing is kind of like patriotism. If people feel the need to tell you they're a patriot or feel the need to wear the flag on their body all the time, uh, they're probably not really a patriot. 
they're probably just a selfish bigot who wants people to think that America believes the things they believe. What does a fully customized Yankee Marshall Edition 686 look like? I don't know. I've never seen one. <clears throat> I think there is such a thing. Had someone in your crack, LOL. Well, not lately. How fast do you walk on the treadmill now? Only about three miles an hour. Like I said, I'm just walking. Sometimes I'll crank it up a little, like 3.3 or 3.4, but I've been trying to keep it at three miles an hour, but I put it at an eight incline. So I'm basically walking uphill. Uh, I found that does more for your butt and your uh, shins and stuff, keeps your legs stronger. The other day we went on a hike and where we parked was a, about a third of a mile away from where the trailhead was. You know, it's not far to walk and it's a nice day out. So we parked over there. We walked the third of the mile back to the trailhead. And as we get to the trailhead, uh, uh, two of our group went to go to the bathroom. So I'm standing there talking to my friend Bill and uh, my son Caden. And Caden goes, did you lock your car? And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I locked my car. So I had to jog the one third of a mile back and then the one third of a mile there. So two thirds of a mile, I had to do a jog and I was surprised that I could still do it. <coughs> it didn't even hurt me. Then we went on a three mile hike. So I was like, cool. Now the next day my shins hurt a little bit from running on concrete, but uh, I was amazed that I could still do that. Even though it was only two thirds of a mile, it was 78 degrees out. So it was warm. Uh, but I managed to run over there, run back. Oh, and my car was locked, by the way. So I blame Caden for that. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, I was surprised I could do it. It really does make a big difference when you're older, how fit you were when you were younger. Like if I was ne had never been as fit as I was when I was younger, because I was very fit at one point in time, uh, you know, could run five miles and and then go work out at the gym all like right in a row. Uh, didn't bother me at all. Now getting off the couch twice during one show kind of wears me out. But uh, if I hadn't been in that shape before, there's no way I could have done it now. But I, but I managed to do it. I'd just be a big glob of jelly. Uh, do you dry fire? Yes, all the time. If so, do you use something... <clears throat> like a barrel block or striker cap when using semi-autos to help the firing pin slightly. Well, it's hard to do really good dry firing with semi-autos unless you get one of those magazines that recocks the gun. Well, then you only need really uh, one cap because it doesn't really eject it. Uh, so uh, oh, that's easy. I would just use one cap. Uh, like when I'm used dry firing with my Beretta, <clears throat> I use my laser uh, bullet that you put in there until it puts a red dot on the wall when I'm dry firing. When I'm doing it with a revolver, I just put snap caps in it and fire. I wish there was a thing they made where you could, uh, it was like a ring that was all lasers. That would have been nice, but that would be expensive too. Um, how do you clean up drag lines on a blued revolver cylinder? You don't. You just rub some blue, liquid blue on it and cover it up some. That's all you can do. You do anything else, you're ruining the cylinder. You're ruining the finish. So unless you want to like completely strip the cylinder and refinish it, uh, then you just leave them alone or you take a bluing pencil and just or pen and just color them in a little bit. You know, the type of the liquid blue, cold blue. Uh, Go Shadow says, I don't do crunches. I crack and pop every time I get up. Yeah, well, me too. I sound like Jiffy Pop when I walk. Getting off the couch, I sound like, first I sound like someone, you know, like you're having a Bigfoot encounter. It's like, <laughs> and then it's pop, crack, snap, crack, pop. I can't remember last time I stood up off the floor without going, <laughs> Uh, what are you watching on Netflix? I don't think I am watching anything on Netflix, to be honest. Uh, right now, I don't think we're watching anything. 
Uh, the only things we're watching right now is we're watching uh, season three of Resident Alien, which I'm really disappointed. That show jumped the shark after season two. It just uh, it's just badly written now and annoying. It's like everything seen. They th it's like in season three they thought you know what people find really funny when you annoy the fucking shit out of them with repetitive goes on way too long garbage. Uh, it, it's not good this season i'm hoping it's the last season and they wrap up the story because it was so good the first two seasons and now it's just not all that great uh we're watching that and we're watching uh re-watching all the venture brothers so i think i missed some of them because there's some of them i don't remember uh let's see where are we at getting caught up with the supers and uh, are the Winchester silver tips any good for defense against werewolves or a gimmick? Well, they're not silver. So no, they don't work against werewolves. They're nickel plated. So no, that doesn't work against werewolves. Might as well just be regular brass. Uh, Non-gun question. How do you overcome imposter syndrome? Well, I mean, if you're suffering from imposter syndrome, well, then it's probably going to be therapy. I'm not going to say you're going to be able to just down and cure yourself of it because you're not. Uh, I've never experienced imposter syndrome because I feel very secure in being able to speak my mind and do my own thing. And if people, other people choose to like it or listen, that's that's their fault, uh, not mine. Uh, so I've never really experienced imposter syndrome. Uh, but I mean, if you're someone that is, I'm going to say that's probably going to be a situation where you might want to seek therapy. Because that is a severe case of uh, uh, insecurity. And oops, that makes my bump, bump. Can you all see me going blurry when I tap the table? Uh did someone buy something? Nope. Someone just donated to TYM Triple P. Uh, who was it? Christian Carlson. Christian Carlson. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Seek, seek therapy. Uh, you'll see the religion on sleeve a lot with Muslims as well, but not so much with you. I don't know what with you. With you, with you. <clears throat> With the Muslims, it's because a lot of the stuff they do is very overt. I mean, women have to wear special garments. Men wear special garments, blah, blah, blah. It's like Hasidic Jews. Of course, they wear it on their sleeve. It dictates how they dress. <clears throat> but Christianity doesn't really dictate how you dress. That's like if you're wearing a cross, that's not wearing your religion on your sleeve. As far as that, that's just wearing a symbol of your religion. I don't mind that at all. When we talk about wearing your religion on your sleeve, it doesn't mean that, oh, you're wearing the traditional garb of your religion. No, it means you go around, you make everything about religion and you judge everything based on your religion. And you think other people should live based on your religion. Uh, I worked on computers at many churches. Computer browser history says a lot about the people in charge at churches. I'm sure it does. <clears throat> you know what else says a lot about them? All those kids they rape. That says a lot about them, too. Uh, Dangerfield Comedy Club in New York City reopens tonight. Renamed Rodney. Oldest comedy club in the U.S. Uh, I've been to the Dangerfield Comedy Club. Many years ago. Uh, how many corn dogs? <clears throat> when I used to go to New York, when I used to be stationed in Jersey, I would always go see comedy shows <clears throat> because it is in New York City, it is fucking cheap entertainment. It's usually, uh, you know, the entrance fee if, if they have one was a, like 10 bucks, five bucks, you know, so and they would have like a two drink minimum. Uh, but if you were the designated driver. You could tell them, hey, I'm the designated driver. Not only did you not have to buy the two drink minimum, you actually got free drinks. You got free out, free non-alcoholic drinks, like free sodas and stuff. So at a lot of the clubs. So I would always go.
to the comedy clubs, you know, for, and, and I did buy stuff. I would always buy like, they always sell like food, like chicken fingers and steak fries and stuff. So I would buy stuff when I was there, but you know, I'd spend like 20 bucks and I'd get a show. <clears throat> I used to like to go to open mic nights. Those were always fun because usually there was no cover to get in on open night, open mic nights. So. How many corn dogs do you think you could safely consume in one setting before projectile vomiting occurs? Uh, three, maybe, because I usually eat two and I handle that pretty well, but then I feel kind of gross afterwards. So I don't know. I think three would be pushing it. <clears throat> Why didn't you just send your son to check the car? Well, because it's my car and I didn't want to give him my keys. And plus, I thought he would dally and take forever. Whereas I could just run over and run back. And actually, I got over and got back at about the same amount of time it took them to wait in line for the porta potty. So it's a good thing I went. I'm quicker, which is sad to say I'm quicker than a 19 year old. But he would have just wandered and he would have been on his phone the whole time, probably. So, and then he would have come back and said, and I would have said, Is my car locked? Oh, I forgot. And then he had to go back again. <clears throat> Ain't running nowhere, LOL. And Army got all of that out of me. Go to the store, be raining. Kids are running. Hurry up, Dad. Y'all right. I will be there when I get there. Oh, yeah, I don't run in the rain or nothing like that. Uh, just because it's raining. Hell, I live in the Pacific Northwest. Where it's, you get rained on. It rains here all the time. Nobody carries an umbrella because we all just used to getting rained on. We don't not the worst thing in the world. There's worse things than getting rained on. Trust me. Like I said earlier, like getting raped or something. That's worse than getting rained on. Uh, I had the OnStar app on my phone that could lock my doors if my car and my phone both had signal. It had some lag time, but it would do all the key fob functions. Yeah, I have that. <clears throat> Where's that? Is it on this phone? I got the Chevy app somewhere. I got the Ford app on this phone. I think this phone was from back when I still was using the Ford. Don't think. No, it's got the My Chevrolet. I don't really know how to use it, though. So, And I don't know if I would trust it. So I would have to. Go. I would rather run back and check. But I got it on there. There's the My Chevrolet right there. Oops, right there. Uh. <laughs> uh, jump the shark did you see it when Fonz did that well yeah that's what that saying is named after it's from when Fonzie jumped over the shark on happy days they were like that's when the show just basically admitted we got nothing else <clears throat> so uh, uh, that's where that expression comes from when Fonzie jumped over the shark uh, let's see where we at how old were you when you had your first homosexual encounter? Well, I don't know. I blacked that out of my memory. I mean, I was in Little League and went to Bible camp. So I'm sure it was pretty young. Uh, where was it? Uh, I used to live in La Hula, California. There was a comedy club around the corner. That is owned by Polly Shore's parents. Yes, I think her, her, his mom owns, I think, multiple comedy clubs. Like the Laugh Factory or something. I forget which one it is. <clears throat> uh, Larry Flint said the freedom of speech means nothing without the freedom to offend. Well, yeah. Uh, and that's, But there's one thing people always forget. Uh, freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom of consequences. If I walk up to someone and say, your mother's a whore and you're a dirty fag and they punch me in the face. That's kind of, I've kind of brought that on. You know, I can't say, Oh, I have freedom to say whatever I want you to do. Uh, eh, you kind of antagonize that. Uh, it's just like, you know, it's kind of like the yelling fire in a theater. If you go in a theater and yell fire and nothing happens, well, that's not really a crime. If you go into a theater and you yell fire and some 80 year old woman trampled to death because people panic and run for it. Well, then, yeah, then you've got legal liability because you caused somebody to die. <clears throat> so uh, there are consequences of your speech. 
So if I say something people hate and they unsubscribe from my channel, well, that's every, they got every right. That's the consequence of my speech. I accept the consequences of what I say. If people hate on me, they hate on me. If I owned a business and said things people didn't like and they formed a group saying, we're not going to ever come to your business. I'd be like, well, that's every bit of their right. That's not violating my free speech, period. I said what I wanted to say. I'm not, I don't have a right to be free from the repercussions. If I say something racist and people start calling me out for being a racist, well, that's not a violation of my free speech. That's a consequence of my actions. If you don't like what I'm saying, then change the channel, but don't silence me. That's what people say. Change the channel. Them's fighting words I learned is a real legal thing. Well, yeah, you can't antagonize people. If you antagonize people, there are a point where people will snap and attack you and, and retaliate against you. And if you encouraged it, you surrender some legal defense there. Uh, let's see. I'm all caught up with the super chats. How much time we got? We got 13 minutes yet, so I don't got to count those yet. <clears throat> do, do, do. I think I am through all the questions, though. I don't think I missed anything. I don't think I jumped to the bottom. There's 170 people in here. We should get some questions, have some questions coming in, but I think I got them all. Um... I don't like to end early when it's a regular chat. If it's a, a lot of members only chat, I don't mind. But but it looks like uh, we are out of questions on both sides. No super chats, no regular questions in the chat. I did all the like reading people's orders and everything. So I guess that's a bit. Uh, how do you see the Illinois, Illinois assault weapon ban turning out? I think the Supreme Court will rule in favor of the Second Amendment eventually. I think they'll do everything they can to avoid it. And they'll throw some little caveats in there that ruins the whole point. But they'll still rule in favor of the Second Amendment, I think. Uh, I know that the First Amendment doesn't allow people to incite a riot with their speech. Well, no. <clears throat> but here's the thing. You can say incendiary things. And if nothing happens, if people just walk past you and go, fuck that guy, he's retarded, uh, well, then there's no nothing anybody can do to you. But if people gather around and start listening to you and then they decide, yeah, he's right, let's burn this bitch to the ground. Well, then, yeah, then you got some liability because something happened. Uh, but <clears throat> just saying the stuff, that's not the problem. Light Blue Oyster Cult says pee-pee-poo-poo. -poo. Uh uh, we always called it uh, piddle and poo. You gotta go piddle. You gotta go poo. Like when the puppies gotta go piddle. They gotta go piddle or they gotta go poo. And little boys have a doodle and girls have a wooby. Oh. Uh, Are we talking about experiences we had in the past? Well, I don't think so. Someone called me a son of a whore once. I smiled joyously and said, Daddy, his mates pissed themselves laughing. Well, you gotta act and you never know. You check. Um if we leave early, do we get a full day's pay? God no. You owe me extra if you leave early. I should start charging. If you didn't hear a dollar cover charge. Well, we make bank. Well, if people still came, I don't think most people would come if we charged a dollar service charge. But imagine if we charge charge a dollar service charge to, you know, on average 180, 200 people a day and they actually still came, uh, we would fund every program we got. We'd have to be able to bring back something like uh 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 Handguns for heroes or something. Uh, you know who I ain't seen I ain't seen Bisquick in here since he got his package. He got his package and then he bailed. I think that's all he was hanging out for with his package. Uh 
Have you ever tried that pizza place in Portland called Pizza Shoals? I don't know. Not that I know of. Larry Flint also said, when you rock the boat, you make waves and waves create change. Or they just aggravate people and they sink your boat. Uh, when we, the people, inform the government that the second is made for them and any restrictions they impose only proves they should get it. I think I understand what he's saying, but Audit and Two donated to the Pets and Vets Fund, got uh, three entries into the hat drawing tonight, and said, Explain round butt. I want a squared off look for my M60. I prefer the look of the Python grip. Can I make that happen on my Model 60? Yes. Uh, everyone knows round grip, round butt grips, and square butt grips. A square butt grip has a flat bottom and a, comes to a point like an angle at the bottom. Round butts kind of just curl around and then go to the flat. <clears throat> but you can get a round two square conversion grips. I'm sure I got them on some of the guns up there. Uh, yeah, those up there on the top. They got round to square butt conversion grips. Uh, you can usually tell when you're looking at them because like on a, a round to square, like this is kind of a round to square. The back strap, when you get to the bottom, cuts into the grip and you see wood at the bottom. Uh, where is a round to square? A really good solid round to square. I can't pick it up and show you though, so I don't even know why I'm looking. But uh, yeah, I've got some up here, like this one right here. It's technically still a round grip, but it's got the same thing like the round to square. Here's a round to square right here. Here's a round to square right here. So you square back, but these are round grip frames inside there. <coughs> do, 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 do. Jacoby said, what are your thoughts on Asian massage parlors? PV, I also want entries to the drawing. Well, you got three for that. Uh, well, I mean, I got no problem against massage parlors. I don't want a massage. I've still got a gift certificate from my son to go get massages. But the place that he gave me the gift certificate to, uh, oh, I might have to have a shoulder massage because my shoulder's been killing me. Uh, they do foot massages. I think I'm going to spend all my gift certificate on foot massages and facial because I can do, use a tune up here. Uh, <clears throat> so I might be doing that. Uh, but I got no problem against Asian massage parlors. I just don't want massages. I'm not a big fan of people touching me. Uh, that comes with being on the spectrum a little bit, but, uh, uh, I don't like being touched. So not a fan of massages. Uh, now if they're prostitution rings, well, then that's a different story. Uh, then I'm still absolutely 100% okay with them as long as it's the prostitutes that are in charge. Like if they're the ones running the business, making the rules, making the money, well, then I'm fine with that. They're basically slave labor to somebody else who's making all the money and exploiting them and they're not do there willingly. <clears throat> well, that's a different issue. But if it's like a uh, worker owned and operated, I'm fine with that 100%. I don't mind prostitution. <clears throat> Got, I'm not some fickle old prude. I don't have a need of a prostitute because back when, back when I had a sex drive, I didn't need the prostitutes. I could get laid whenever I wanted because I was actually a good looking person that was in really good shape. I had a lot to offer. Uh, so I could get laid pretty much anytime I wanted to. But uh, and now that I'm old and ugly, I just don't really want to get laid. So I ain't paying for it. not worth it. Uh, do you think the ATF will ever have a frogman division that goes looking for all the guns that lost in boating accidents? I think they don't usually fall for that, so I don't think they would. That's a video idea for tomorrow. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. What's your current savings look like for the Wall Street Nighthawk custom money gun? Oh, I think I've got like a dollar and 35 cents saved. I think that was a gun made for a specific buyer. So I don't think it's going to be for sale, but, uh, or maybe they were giving it to someone specifically, but, uh, yeah, I, I would not give them. 
Well, I mean, if they, if they came to me Martin and said, hey, we'll sell you this for $10, well, yeah, of course I'd fucking buy it. Turn around and resell it. But I would not pay them. If that gun was $2,000, I would not buy it. Well, unless I thought I could turn around and sell it for 4000 But if I was paying a fair market price for it, even if they gave me a good discount, I still wouldn't buy it. <clears throat> uh, for a dollar a day, stop being a tease and put out. Oh, I'll, if anybody shows up here, I got. I mean, I'll do what I can, but uh, it's not going to be good. I can tell you, uh, it's going to be very haphazard and uh, half-hearted. The video idea is round butt versus square butt. Well, I think everybody knows that already, don't they? Huh? If a thirty-five inch wide bullet squarely hit a thirty, wait. 0.35 inch. Okay, I was like 35 inch bullet. Uh, if a 3.5 inch bullet squarely hit a 3.5 inch wide 300 pound pole with 300 foot pounds of force, then would the pole move one foot? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to sit down and do the equation, but I'm not sure what the formula would be for that. I'm not a mathematician. But I'm sure there's somewhere online you can find the formula for that. But uh, I'm not thinking it would because there's a lot of factors you're going to have to figure there. Uh, you got to figure it. that pole sit laying on something when it gets hit. Well, there's resistance between the pole and the item it's laying on. There's also atmospheric resistance. Uh, there's all kinds of things to figure in to know how far it's going to move, if it moves at all, even if it's, if it's squarely hit. Uh, where am I at? Uh, looks like I am all done. Are we out of time? We got two minutes left, and then I'll I'll, I'll count the the uh, uh, entries in one minute here. <clears throat> the Wall Street 1911 was surely made for someone for some cokehead on Wall Street who wants to be Gordon Gecko. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. And people are like, Oh, I can't believe they're making that in this economy. Someone said on my chat video, I'm like, we mean this economy. This economy is great for wall street. People, corporations are making record profits. People think there's some people out there for some reason think, Oh, businesses are struggling. Big businesses are not struggling. All the major corporations are making record profits and they're making it out of your wallet because they've been left to rape and pillage all they want. <clears throat> and there's no competition because every time you go to the grocery store and you're trying to decide between two different brands or three different brands, odds are same company owns all three brands. Um, I guess the foot pound calculation is theoretical. No, it's mathematical. You just got to know how to figure it out. I don't know how to figure it out. At least not right off the top of my head. Um, you need to put with your cue for him to see what? Oh, mountain knife. Well, who's mountain knife? What that? Colt, King Cobra, or Smith and Wesson nineteen? Uh, comp carry. Uh, I would go with the Smith and Wesson nineteen carry comp myself. Uh, the King Cobras are very nice though, but I would rather have the Smith and Wesson. Uh, with the comp, the carry comp. It's a nice black gun. It's purdy, good quality. Not that the King Cobras aren't, but I would go with the 19. I have a King Cobra. Uh, there it is in the middle. It's got all the fancy gold parts and stuff. <coughs> Had it polished up by uh, Patriot Gun Polishing. I got one last super chat coming in here before we start counting. Uh, Gurma wears the kaboom hat today. I think he meant war, not gore. I think he wore his wears the kaboom hat today. At least I hope that's what he means. All right, we're out of time, so I got to count the entries. <clears throat> and then we'll do the drawing. All right, three, six. 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 23, 26, 27. How many is it for 10? Is it seven? So that's 34, 37, 40, 43, 
44. So I got to generate a number between one and 44. Random number generator. That's 41. So I got to count up three from the bottom. So it's Jacoby. It's Jacoby is the winner. So Jacoby needs to let me know what he wants. Small flag, hat, t-shirt, uh, whatever you want. Let me know what size, what color, uh, and give me your mailing address. And put in the subject line, hat winner, so that I can find the email. Um, but that's it for us today. I want to say thanks to everybody who showed up today. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks to everybody who helped support the channel. I appreciate it. Even if it's uh, whether it's financially, I really appreciate that, or whether it's just by watching my videos, thumbing them up, sharing them, etc. because nobody watches them anymore. Uh, it's gotten to a point where I don't even know why I bother doing videos every day, other than the fact I kind of like to do videos, uh, because they don't add anything to my channel, really. They don't make money off of them or anything. Uh, but, you know, I like sharing opinions and stuff. It's like carrying a conversation, one-sided, where you can't argue with me, but uh, hopefully people will watch them and then come to my chat and argue with me, but they very seldom do. But like I said, I appreciate everything you all do for the channel. I will see you all again tomorrow. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.